The Bill and Kelly Show is recorded at Studio A at Executive Suite Squared in beautiful Hammond, Indiana. Now, here's Bill and Kelly. Hello, and welcome to the Bill and Kelly Show. Uh, today, we have our two, what we like to call Mostest, our... Mostest, favoritestest people ever. And our rock stars. They're absolutely rock stars. I'm absolutely. telling you, these guys, we uh, have the highest, greatest, unbelievable amount of respect for. Uh, we have, up in your upper left-hand corner, uh, Ms. Addison Brown. <laughs> from the Miles of Many Smiles... Uh, or the smile bag fame. That's right. And in the, the center of the screen, weighing in at, no, I'm not going to tell your weight, uh, we have Ryan Gustus of the backpack fame. Uh, so welcome to our show. We've been so excited about it. We have been able to sleep all week uh, knowing that you guys are going to be on the I know. show. I and love Ryan's you guys. like rolling his eyes up and said, oh, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, so welcome back to the show, guys. Yeah, we're so happy. You know, now that we don't have all these kids on Zoom uh, interfering with all the distance education in school, this may be a little bit better quality-wise, maybe. I hope so. Yeah, you, yeah, you guys are kind of sick of Zoom right now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> so um, let's start off telling, uh, first of all, with Addison. Why don't you tell us a bit about what's been going on with your uh, project, the, uh, the Smile Bags. Well, with, like, all of this, like, quarantine stuff, it's been, like, a good, um, way to, like, actually get some things done with smile bags. Like, um, it's easier to, like, um, even if I don't have to drop off any bags, it's so much easier to, like, um, make bags just for when, uh, people or, like, the police departments want the smile bags. I've had, I think I've only had about one police station that's picked up during this quarantine. No, two. We've had two. I've had two. Um, and um, we were actually social distancing. Fine. Um, but I, it, in total, I think it was like 160 smile bags for both. And um, it's with all of this. Oh, and also um, I gave smile bags to the nurses. They didn't have like anything in them. They were just like the bags, so um, the nurses um, could put their like clothes in the bags when they get home, and then they could just like uh, throw their clothes in the um, washer when they get home because of all this going on. Hmm. So That's a yeah, great idea too. It's good to put, put their greens in and all the stuff that they That's normally right. put in. The, and then yeah, go they keep, home and yeah. wash their stuff. Actually, it's a safety thing too. It is. So it was that great. you know, that was great. Oh man, that's fantastic. So. There, you've been getting ready for when this is all over, so you get start, right back into things, right. baby. Yeah, and from we understand, you're going to be delivering some here pretty soon. Coming up, coming up, and yes, I'm going to be delivering um smile to smile back to Griffin and also also Monster. Um, I think um in total it's going to be like 180 bags in total oh, for both wow. of them. So wow. you know, great. Now, Ryan, tell us, tell us, tell us, please do, what's been going on with you? So, right. for the backpack project, um, we did, we ended up getting a small delivery out because somebody had notified us about where a small group of people live in a neighboring suburb to us. So, we ended up getting about, uh, uh, about eight backpacks out, it just like in a to us because somebody notified us that there were people living in a parking garage there. Oh, wow. We did that and we also participated in a fundraising campaign called Giving Due Page Days that it was a fundraising campaign for um, small nonprofits in our county. So we participated in that and then we also won a $2,500 grant from Paul Gregory Media Digital Marketing Grant so what they're helping us do is maybe, um, and we're actually meeting with them today, but they're helping us maybe to make a website. Great. Oh, that's wonderful. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, man. I tell you what, that's exciting news. So uh, it, should I step your website up a bit and uh, maybe a video or? Yeah, it's so like maybe an online video. It's like a digital marketing grant. So like a website and then maybe an online ad. 
Now, are you done with um, e-learning? Have you yeah, finished I up? finished this Tuesday, this past Tuesday. Okay, so you yeah. guys are both done with it. Awesome. Done with school for the summer, right? Yeah. Yep. School's yeah, out for summer. School's out. Something that they've summer. probably never heard. Yeah. You have heard it. I've heard it. I've heard it. Yeah. 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 That's uh, even when we were going to school, that was popular. That was cool. Yeah, yeah. It was cool. Yeah. It, it always rang right around this time of year. Yeah. yeah. That's when everybody so, played it. So, all right. So, uh, just to refresh everyone's memory, and for those who don't know about your programs, don't we uh, tell them a bit about what my. Uh, Many miles of miles smi of many smiles. Yeah, yeah. I always get that. <laughs> Tell us so, about what all you do. For yeah. That. What is a smile bag? And yes. What goes into it, and who do they go to? Normally, okay. uh, what what you started out. All right. So I um came up with the idea of smile bags when um one of my former classmates um I found out she was going through foster care and she'd come to school like super upset. So I decided to make <laughs> smile bags. And each are uh, smile bags or are for the purpose of them is like to make kids smile during hard times. Like, for example, if their parents are getting taken away from them or their parents have been in a car crash and the child is fine. There's like so many reasons that smile bags could be used for. Um, in each smile bag, there is a toy, depending on what age the ages go to like babies to teenagers. And for, like, the older kids, we have, like, adult coloring books. Um, and then we have coloring books, crayons, a dry erase board, a dry erase board marker, um, tissues, and, um, like, um, little, like, Kleenexes. And um, I've been doing this for about th almost three years now. So, yeah. <laughs> And a years. handwritten note by you. Which oh, I yes, think and is a handwritten the coolest note. Yes, thing ever. Ah, yeah. <sighs> man, I'm just trying to think what I was doing when I was that age, playing baseball. Yeah, that pretty was, much it. Yeah, I put, I was at Girl Scout camp as much as possible yeah. for me. Yeah, okay, and uh, Ryan, um, tell us about the tell backpack us about, project. What, how that started and what the backpacks are and who they go to. So I started the backpack project just by noticing how many homeless people there were in the community. And then also knowing that you couldn't just give like all of them money. And even the fact that you couldn't just give them all money, also not always the best solution, giving them money, because you really never know what they're going to use it for. And you always want them to use it for something good to benefit themselves. So I started the backpack project and what the backpacks contain now are um, necessities to help homeless survive, um, mainly who live on the street. They have things like toiletries and food and tarps and hats, gloves, blankets, um, hand warmers, flashlights, combs, just a lot of like basic necessities to kind of help homeless people survive. And then the people they go to are pretty much um, who live on the street. And we make sure that we hand deliver every backpack. And you try to interact with just about everyone that gets a backpack. Yeah, that's kind of like, that's kind of our mission as the Backpack Project is to make homeless people feel a part of society as well and not um, necessarily like neglected because so many people just walk past this every day. Hmm. Or have a, a preconceived notion of what they are or who they are. Yeah. And uh, Ryan, if I remember correctly, reading something in one of the posts on the Backpack Project after the pandemic and the stay-at-home order hit, um, you were kind of concerned what was going to happen with all these people uh, because what they the shelters were um, closing down, and um, yeah, and, and do you want to talk to us a bit about that? Yeah, so it seemed like a lot of the shelters are closing down. It does seem like. That's kind of a something that might reopen to because this is pretty necessity, but they're not going to be able to have like full capacity right when they open again, just because usually it's pretty tight living quarters because they try and fit as many people in as possible, help as many people. But obviously with the restrictions, they won't be able to do that. So there's pro most likely a lot more people um, living on the street and kind of having to do for themselves now. Yeah, but you were worried about that, right? Yeah. I mean, you were concerned about these people, where they're going to go, where they're going to stay. 
amazing, <laughs> absolutely amazing. I tell you, it just gives me goosebumps when I think about you guys and your concern for your fellow humans and what's going to happen, and uh, just absolutely amazing. Makes us so, love them so much. let's talk about fun stuff, shall we? Like, what else have you guys been doing? I yeah, mean, what I, so, kind of fun things can you do sure, while you're I, kind of I, quarantined? I know yeah. how parents can get on your nerves sometimes. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? The <laughs> what? Not me, no. Yeah. Um, but, you know, what What do you guys do to kind of chill? Uh, have you guys watched movies, games? So, I've been playing video games, and I also go on walks with my family a lot and spend a lot of time playing with my dog nah. nice what kind of video games do you play what what kind of stuff are you into um it depends i like playing i play a lot of sports games and then i also do some driving simulator ones do you have a ps4 what what kind of a gaming system do you yeah have? i have ps4 and nintendo switch oh okay cool cool all right Addison, what about you what have you been doing um, I've been most, I've been watching lots of movies, and I'm watching this Netflix show with my mom. <laughs> um, my family watched this, um, movie, it's called What About Bob, and we like oh, that movie. I love that movie. Can't oh. go wrong. Oh, my God. That's the guy that, he's his... That's with Bill Murray. Oh, yeah, that's a great movie. Yeah. yeah. And Richard yeah. Dreyfuss. He follows him to his vacation home. Uh -huh. Yeah, that, oh, man, that is That a is a great movie. Great movie. Uh, I've tried to watch movies, but me and my sister, with my sister, but we have very different tastes in movies. <laughs> I get that. Yeah. So it's it's nearly impossible, and you know it's you know you have different tastes when it's impossible to find a movie, and you have like a hundred discs, Netflix, Hulu, and Disney Plus, and you still can't find a movie that you agree on. I get it. I get it. Yeah. How old is your sister? Fifteen. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she's gonna want to wa start watching those glove, the rom coms, and stuff <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, whatever you know. Where's the uh, horror movies and uh, science fictions, watch, right? But... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so uh, when she's out and about, are you are you able to get in and dial in your own movie or no? Yeah, sometimes I can watch my own movie. I'm also more of just a TV show person. I'm not as into the movies because I'd rather kind of watch a TV show for a short period of time, but then like, like the whole series, long period of time, than just watch a movie for like an hour and a half. What kind of TV shows are you into? Um, so I I watch a lot of TV shows on Netflix, and well, Family Guy's good on Disney Plus. Yeah. Um, I watch I watch these car restoration ones on Netflix, which are good. Oh, cool. yeah. The Office so, is a so good you, one. Oh, always. So you like old cars? Yeah. Cool. How about you, Addison? Um, I, I like TV shows. Um, it depends. Like TV shows or movies, I'm like kind of in between. But um, I watch Netflix a lot for TV shows. Um, I've been watching this like new show, Outer Banks, on Netflix. Um, Stranger Things is one of my oh, favorites. Oh yeah. yeah, we love that too. You know, Kelly and I actually played uh, characters from Stranger Things. For Halloween. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, cool. she was actually uh, I was 11. 11. And I uh, was the sheriff. Yeah. For, yeah, her adopted dad. Yeah. Hopper, yeah. Yeah. Hopper. Which I was told I kind of look like him. He does him. look a little like Hopper when he's got the Hopper. costume on. Yeah, Sheriff yeah. Hopper. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Something else is, since I have so much time now, I've been teaching my dogs new tricks. <gasps> Oh, what uh, kind of tricks? So I, I taught him how to catch the treats off his nose. Oh, oh yeah. His, he put it on his nose, and then he puts it and he slides it off his nose and catches it. Nice. Very cool. Yeah, see, her dog is trainable. Mine is... Uh, Yours is... Uh, yeah, he, he tries to train us is what happens. He has us trained. Yeah. Yeah, he, he knows exactly what to do to get us yeah, to do he, stuff. If you had a chance, ask one of your parents to look on our Facebook page, and you could see a picture of Dexter. He's very unique. People, Some people don't even believe he's a, a dog. Yeah. Yeah, we just call him a Dexter when they ask That's what, what he is. is. Yeah. yeah, he's a Dexter. So, uh, What about keeping in contact with your friends? How's that been going? Yeah. Um. So... 
I use Snapchat to keep in check in contact with most of my friends, so I text them and stuff a lot. Yeah. And Addison? I also use Snapchat a lot because um you can FaceTime on Snapchat, you can make like a group chat or something and FaceTime lots of people at the same time. And I've been like FaceTiming um my friend and then also my cousin at the same time. We are we're like all three like 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 best friends, like a like a triangle friend. Nice. <laughs> it's uh, funny. Cool. So you're like, doing all that Snapchatty stuff, yeah. See, I always thought it was a, just a group of teenagers getting together and talking. And when I uh, came up to a group of teenagers, or just at, at where I uh, used to work, and said, "You guys need to quit Snapchatting and get back to work," they just started laughing at me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, because oh, he's well. out of it. Yeah, call me a boomer. He's not cool. Yeah, he's a boomer. <laughs> Okay, so, so am I. <laughs> so yeah, am I. Also, also a lot in like the neighborhood around me and a couple neighboring towns are birthday parades going on. Oh yeah. Yeah, Addison had quite a fancy birthday parade, didn't she? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A bunch of police officers and stuff with their cars all showing off. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. yeah, the local media was all over that, Ryan. Eh? She, yeah, it was she crazy. She got a lot of attention. I didn't even for know. For some it reason. Either. I didn't even know what was gonna happen, but like then this guy just came up from um like after it was all over and he's like, Can I ask you a couple questions? <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. just, it was fun. Well, all these media online media companies were out there showing videos and all we oh, just yeah. sat back so we know Addison. That's right. We yeah, know you these may people. just you know, some girl from Lowell. We know her. That's right. Yeah. She's <laughs> friends of ours, so yeah. So you could, we're special, so yeah. special. That was great. I mean, there's been all, there's been some of that going on around, and man, I tell you, you know what? We just had some uh, people on the show that uh, is a daughter uh, uh, and her mom that rode their horses through Girthen. That was kind of <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah. They they both are like equestrian athletes, and they. Um, so they didn't have anything to do, you know. They, they so they'd get go. together and they'd video themselves clapping around in Griffith and people coming up and being all excited that there's horses on their street and stuff. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And by being on a horse, of course, you you're social distanced. Uh, horse, of course. That's right. Yeah, of course, of course. It's cool. It was yeah. cool. Yeah. So anything else, you guys are anything unique? Anything else you want to share with us? Or before? things that you're looking forward to this summer? Yeah. Besides I, the I'm, new pool, I, Missy, I that I am looking forward to swimming in the pool. Yeah, <laughs> now that you got a pool. Yeah. How about you, Ryan? What what do you got going this summer that you're excited about? I don't. Um, I don't know. A decent amount of stuff here is still like canceled for the whole summer. Because our reopen plan is still taking a long time. So, like, all the water parks and stuff near us are canceled for the whole summer. Yeah. But for me, I'm trying to play baseball more. Um, and hopefully by the end of the summer, the that we'll be able to at least play a little bit. Yeah. But I don't know. Was that? I didn't hear it kind of cut out of my headset. What were you trying to play? Oh, um, baseball because I've been oh. – because we practiced the whole off season. I play for a travel team, and so we practice the whole season, and then we didn't really get to play any games. But hopefully, by the end of the summer, we can at least play a little. A little bit. Uh, back. Awesome. Yeah, that'll be great. Yeah, during the summer, that's all we did. If you start playing games, you have to let us know so we can come watch. Yeah, yeah. We want to come see. We'll come yeah, watch we'll... Addison swim. We'll come watch you play baseball. You don't mind if oh, we have. I play softball. You don't mind if we oh, have okay. T-shirts made up. Uh, Ryan's grandparents. <laughs> adopted grandparents. Adopted. Of yeah, adopted grandparents. Yeah, you guys have to tell both your grandparents that you've got another set of grandparents. That's right. That's that love <laughs> oh boy, man, oh man. You get well. Um, yeah, it's a shame a lot of things got canceled, but I uh, boy, oh boy, you can't wait till we could get back to normal and uh, yeah. I mean, visit both you guys and in, in, in person. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, boy, and it, uh, well, I guess we should start wrapping up so yeah. you guys can get back to doing some cool stuff. Yeah. Other than get talking back to those to video games or boomers. watching some TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I tell you what, I can't tell you that doesn't a day go by that uh, Kelly and myself talk don't you. talk about you guys. Yeah. 
it, it just amazing, amazing people. Oh, okay. One thing before we go, though, let people know if they want to find more about find out more about your organizations and things. Addison, how do people find out about you? So I have a Facebook page, Miles and Many Smiles, and that's like the I would just say like just go to the Facebook page because on the Facebook page is the link to my website that I have. And then you can also, like, if you want to donate, you can donate on the Facebook page or the website. Okay. So that's where I'd recommend to go. Perfect. And Ryan, how do people find out about you? So for us, hopefully soon we'll be getting a website up. And then also we have a big Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook um, pages with a lot of information and things like that. And those are found at either the Backpack Project or at pack the kindness because that's our hashtag at pack the kindness got it cool. perfect thanks so much you guys for taking yeah. the time to spend with us we love you so much and thank you we just thank you we do we just love you so much <laughs> yeah yeah we do feel like your grandparents yeah we do i'd like to say more like sisters you know, like I, yeah. I feel like I'm more like your sister than anything. Yeah, but really, have I'm you ever known anyone our age or at this school? Oh, there he is. is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll let you guys go, but thank you so much for joining us and taking time out of your day. We love you. Ryan Bye. and Addison, you. we'll see you. Have a great uh, rest great of the week, rest great of the week, weekend. Everybody. We'll hopefully Boom. talk to you soon. And everybody out there, check them out. Yes, please do. Go check them out. Amazing Donate people. Donate some money. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. We'll see you. See ya. Bye. This episode of The Bill and Callie Show is brought to you by... Holy moly. Look at this. Shh. Be quiet. But... This is important stuff. Look, there's nothing more important than what I am doing right now, reading Another Mystery by local author Susan L. Perry. I have already finished these, and I've ordered her newest book, The Proof is in the Pudding, on Amazon. Really, you need to look at this. Shut up! Alrighty then. Alrighty then. For these and other books by author Susan L. Perry, you may order them at Amazon.com or from your local bookstore. For more information about the author, visit her website at www.SusanLPerry.com.